Join us for Island Kitchens, celebrating Hawaii's multifaceted food and culture. My involvement had more to do with the fact that I was grounded than it had to do with the fact that I wanted to participate. And not grounded like spiritually connecting. You mean grounded like you're in trouble, you got grounded? Like I was untrustworthy to be by myself. So I was permanently grounded to my father. So years later, Daniel, you are um, clearly uh, known um, for your work in this area. Um, lots has taken place. How did you become involved you know, as an adult doing what you do? You know, the, um, the breaking point was uh, uh, two events that occurred. One is which I became a father. And the second event was that the University of Hawaii tried to patent varieties of Hawaiian taro and tried to GMO taro. And so sort of those two things happening literally simultaneously um, made me maybe have changed my value system, you know, and it made me realize that um, if I wanted Kalo in my children's future, that I was going to have to be the guy that would plant it and fill the umeke, and that I wasn't going to be able to depend on anybody else doing that for me. Now we're in Daniel's backyard. We're told that depending on the time of the year, there could be upwards of 100 people pounding their own poi to take home. Too much water, too early, and your poi can become monkey. Too much water in the late stages, of course, makes water in poi. I love poi. When I was on Moko Keawe, I stayed down in Waipio Valley and I stayed at this place called Kailigo Pueo. And down there on a Kalakia Fronda, we taught a bunch of us how to, you know, Malama Aina and how to work low E. And I remember very vividly the day that he taught us how to make Pati Ai. And it was like a revelation. Yeah, I was just like, oh, this is me! We never had this before. Regardless, you know, it's just regardless of whether you're Kanaka Maoli or Haole or Pake or Kepani, you can identify with the very basics of, of Poya yeah, and Pa'iai, the very basic nutritional elements you know, of what it does for us, how it nourishes us. And I think Poi and, and, and Poi production and Pa'iai yeah production is very very visceral, it's very intimate. Um, because if you understand where it comes from, you really know how much effort went into growing it, harvesting it, cleaning it, cooking it, you know, cooking it. And it's a lot different than like a chicken made nugget. <laughs> 